Okay everybody, uh, thank you for coming here. Now this is going to show you how to use the Tron Texture Pack and HD Texture Packs in general. Now I do have a video on this but people seem to be confused so I'm going to go through it again and explain how to put it on, how to take it off and all that kind of stuff. Now I've removed all the texture packs from the videos and you have to get them here. So first download the Mac Patcher which is the first link and then there's a, the Tron Scotty is my uh, is first the main kind of Tron texture pack and that I'm using the 64 by 64 the one that people like so uh, that's called Tron Scotty so that's the one to download so now I'm going to show you how to use it so um, you have to go and download the Mac Patcher and uh, what I'll do actually I won't leave you this link but I'll leave you the link to the website the form where it comes from because it keeps updating so what you do is you double click into this, you click on run okay it'll op the, open the patching program now if these should already be set to your .jar file but if they're not what you have to do is go to the original go browse okay and um, what you gotta do is you gotta find the minecraft.jar file so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go computer uh, users james app data uh, roaming dot minecraft bin and then you want to go to minecraft dot jar okay so you go uh, oh, we do this one here and see what happens so you do open it opens it up as you see there and it automatically does the output for you and this is where people I think are getting it wrong you don't touch this tile size because you can select like really high detail you leave that alone uh, don't go near this click on texture pack this little box here go browse okay and um, I have mine saved here into texture patches and it's strong Tron Scotty okay so I go open and I go uh, patch and it says all this kind of pixel by pixel crap Ooh, disappeared on me and um, it'll patch it here see mine kind of goes black for some reason and um, it says at the bottom here hopefully that's done or so, something on that nature so we'll turn that off and you can click on test minecraft so uh, Minecraft will open up as you see this splash screen has changed and you can go into your single player I'll go into my world and this is the Tron texture pack as you can see so this is Minecraft beta 1.3 underscore zero one and it is working okay so it does work but sometimes what happens on certain maps it will crash and I'm going to show you what happens when it does and the only one that ever crashed on me was um, Jake's map 3 which is one he made for me so if I go into this and um, what happens when I go in here maybe there's too much on the map or my computer's not good enough or something it crashes so when I walk up this way or is it this way I walk this way I think I'm lost <laughs> I am yes it's this way right if you walk this way it will crash just at the corner up here and you'll see what happens now it crashes and you get that kind of error it'll probably come up saying about your graphics card and you shut down now every time I go to load that map now what's going to happen is Minecraft is going to crash now you can still load up Minecraft and um, like this just simply by logging in or maybe you can't play offline for some reason the launcher is fucked now load up load up load up so you can still go in and you can still play the game as you see I'm going to go back into my other world and I still have the texture pack on but I cannot go back to that map it'll keep on freezing but let's say I don't know maybe it's with your computer or for some reason I don't know this is quite a decent laptop and it works well on it and um, what you have to do is to delete the whole texture pack okay go start and just click in the search bar go um, percent percentage and go APPDATA it's like a quick shot a, a quick shot a shortcut uh, press enter it'll bring you in here you go to your dot minecraft folder and this bin folder here okay I'll show you this is where the minecraft folder was okay this is the, the kind of the, ja the Java files that we patched now because we have patched these and um, they won't work so we're going to delete this bin folder so don't be afraid okay whoops go delete yes okay the, the bin folder is now gone and just load up your minecraft and what will happen it will go to the minecraft servers and download the dot jar files again just like if you were downloading an up uh, an up uh, like an update for the game this is what it does it just downloads the new files and deletes the old ones 
So we've already deleted the old ones, we're getting the new ones. You see the old splash screen is back. We can go back into uh, Jake's map here and uh, we are free to move around. So you see that? So um, this probably doesn't freeze because of the amount of squares that you have in this block. Um, that square basically is split in four on the other texture pack and then they go really 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 small and it's just it does look amazing on some of the realistic texture package like I have one myself but it's a bit laggy and I don't like it but um, hopefully um, you guys understood uh, now how to how to use this um, pattern you have to use this to use HD um, to use the HD um, texture packs so basically what you have to do you gotta download this Mac patcher, it's in the description. You open it up. Okay. This should already be set for you. Click on texture pack, go browse, find the texture pack you want, open it up, click on patch, it'll give you some warning, okay? It'll come up. Uh test Minecraft. Minecraft will open up with the new texture pack. You can then go into your game, go into my world, click on play there's a texture pack if you are having problems with it freezing and stuff like that like uh, if you see this I don't know what that is a piece of beef or a diamond that I'm holding my hand that's actually from a really really high resolution texture pack so maybe that is causing a problem but I don't think it is because it's so uh, so little in it so what you want to do to remove it okay, is exit minecraft type uh, in percentage percentage and inside that temp hit enter no but you should also just another clip here. Delete these things as often as possible because these things slow down your uh, laptop. They're temporary folders that your uh, your computer or laptop keeps so it can get to websites quicker. But I just like to get rid of them. And um, go A P P D A T A. Okay, hit enter. Hit dot Minecraft. Delete the bin folder. So you're deleting the file you just patched, and I can't use it for some reason because I have it open here. Um, delete that. Okay, it's gone now load up minecraft and if you look it will re-download that texture pack uh, the, the or default texture pack the default jar file as you see it there it's downloading the dot jar there um, as you see it's coming back here God, this is uh, this is much slower than the last time and uh, voila we have now got the old texture pack back and it should work perfectly and it is as simple as that guys so uh, Thank you guys for watching this. I hope this will explain. If there's any problems with crashing, um, I'm afraid I can't help you because I don't. Uh, it doesn't happen to me that often. That's the only map it happens to me on, and I just take the texture pack off. I walk about uh, around the corner a bit. I put the texture pack back on, and it works a charm. So um, thank you guys for watching. Please thumb this up and leave a comment so this does get noticed so people know how to use this. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, bye bye.